A very good morning to class 8th. Here is Kaushalya Raj Rohit, your English teacher. And today we are going to discuss chapter 8, Auxiliaries and Models. Read the following sentences. He is playing hockey outside in the garden. I am reading a storybook. She has lost her pen. I may help you financially. I do not like you calling my name. Now here is, am, has, me, do are the helping verbs and they are used with the main verbs playing, reading, lost, help, like in the sentences respectively. So the verbs to be formed has and do when used with ordinary verbs to make sentences in passive, question and negative form are called auxiliaries or helping verbs. Is, am, are, was, were, has, have, had, do, does, did are called principal auxiliaries. Can, could, shall, should, must, or to, used to, dare and need are called model auxiliaries, right? So, we can differentiate the principal and model auxiliaries. Now, in this chapter, we are going to see the use of main auxiliaries and models. So, the first is to be formed that is is, are, am, was, were. So, let us see the use of is, are, am, was, were in a sentence. These are used to represent the continuous tense of main verbs in the sentence, right? So, they are used to represent the continuous tense. For example, he is writing a letter. I am playing cricket. They are working in the same organization. Here is, am, are, right? All of the three helping verbs help the main verb writing, playing, working, to represent the continuous tense, right? So, this is the use of this auxiliaries. Now, the second is do, does, did. These are used in indefinite tense. These auxiliaries are used with the main verbs in negative and interrogative sentences. Do, does in present indefinite tense, did in past indefinite tense. For example, Akbar does not want a bicycle for his birthday. They do not go school on Sunday. Does he bath daily? Right? So, all the does not, do not and does are used in the sentences to help the main verb as you can see here. Now, the next is has, have, had. The auxiliaries has, have, had and had are used in the formation of the perfect tense. So, has, have, had are mostly used in the perfect tense. He has finished his job. Had he not gone there? The next is can, could. The models can is used to show capacity and ability of a noun. Similarly, could is also used for the same but in past tense. Could is also used to make ask for something in a polite manner, right? So, can is used to show the capacity and ability of the noun and could is also used for the same but in past tense. And, could we, and we also use could to ask for something in a very polite manner. Examples, this car is can reach at its top speed of 407 km per hour under 10 seconds. I could run 5 km in 15 minutes when I was 23 years old, right? So, can is used in the present tense and could is used for the, to show the ability but in the past tense. Use of may and might. To ask for or give permission. May I come in ma'am? Yes, you may come in. Right? So, here 
me is used to ask the permission as well as to give permission to express possibility of an action right so if there is possibility of action we also use me it may rain today the principal may sign your document after lunch me is also used to give blessings for example may you live long may god bless you my child right so here may is used to give blessing may and might both show the degree of possibility of something to happen may is used when it is likely that something will take place might is used when there is only possibility of something to take place right so when you feel like it will be surely happening if the uh, action will be surely happening we use may and when we are not that sure and there is only a possibility to act, to think or something to take place then we use might right for example the class teacher may come tomorrow the class teacher might come tomorrow right so today we have seen the use of to be forms of verbs has have had can could may might do does did right so in our next video we will be discussing the more models and their use right so this is all for today i hope you have understood the topic thank you